Hey guys, so this is the first of a series of interviews that I'm going to do with Barton Scott. Barton and I met at Paleo FX um, just this past month, and we kind of geeked out on minerals and hormones. Um, and what he does, he's a biochemist who has created a company called Upgraded Formulas. And what they specialize in is making nano sized minerals that our bodies are more easily able to absorb. So he's going to educate us about that in this episode. And he's also going to educate us on why minerals matter so much. And they matter so much. So um, get ready to geek out and learn a little bit more about minerals. Um, this first episode is before I had tested my hair minerals. And I actually have done that now. We're getting ready to record the second one. So make sure that you listen to the second episode <laughs> with Barton Scott so you can hear what I found out when I tested my hair for my mineral status. There were definitely some surprises in there. So um, enjoy this episode. Get your base knowledge. Um, I hope this gets you thinking about, hmm, I wonder what my mineral status is. I wonder if maybe this issue I have going on is related to that. Or maybe I don't think I have any issues, but I won't know unless I get educated and I test. So enjoy geeking out. This is a total geek out episode. I hope you super enjoy learning about minerals and how important they are. So without further ado, here is Barton Scott. Hey guys, I have Barton Scott on the other line here. And if you've been following me on Instagram or Facebook, you've been hearing me rave about this guy. Barton, how's it going? Hey, it's going so well. Thanks for having me on. (laughs) It was great meeting you. I'm glad we're uh, finding time to sit down. Yeah, yeah. So like Barton and I ran into each other at Paleo FX, had no idea. We had no idea who each other were. It was just kind of like, hey, like, what do you do? (laughs) You know, and um, but I like I had this feeling I had this feeling I needed to talk to you. And I didn't even know what you did. And come, come to find out you specialize in something that I have a huge need for and what I do. Um, and I'll let you go ahead and make your introduction and, um, tell everybody what it is that you do. And then if you could also tell them like what got you into it, I love, I love hearing that part of the story and yours is so good. So, yeah. So I, and thanks for the intro. It's, uh, it's, it's funny. I had the same sort of feeling and my my background began so i have three main viewpoints that i look at the problem that i'm solving right now and um as with any big problem that you want to solve you just ask yourself like what does what would success look like and what would failure look like um and i just i felt like this was a really important problem that i knew i had it i knew i had and i knew other people would have so i'm i'm a chemist um I say chemical engineering and I'm also a nutritionist, but I had been uh, one of the top wrestlers in the nation when I, when I graduated high school. So from an early age, I was studying nutrition and I was kind of burning myself out. I didn't really know it at the time. And then that led to uh, graduating college and having this um, health crisis really in the mid twenties. And that uh, I, I made a promise to myself at one point that given the skills and knowledge that I had, um, that I would, I would make my own attempt at, at solving this, this problem, which for me um, was adrenal fatigue. And I, I didn't know that. I didn't know how to identify it. It wasn't common six or so years ago to be able to like use that vernacular, that terminology. But yeah, you know, I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah, I'm sure. going to interrupt you. I got to hear this part because you said you were a wrestler, right? And you yeah. burnt yourself out. And <laughs> I, I think this is so fascinating because we hear about this so much with women, right? Like, oh, she starved herself and she overexercised and now her adrenals are overstressed and she's got thyroid problems and blah, blah, blah. But we don't hear about this with men very often. And I definitely want to dive into the fact that you're a wrestler too. Like, what do you mean by, what do you mean by that? Yeah, so I, um, I, I, I was in the sport uh, of wrestling in high school, uh, so weight classes, being very conscious of what you're eating, what you're weighing, how you're performing on a moment-to-moment basis uh, every day from a very, very young age. You know, my, my dad was, um, among other things, uh, one of the most successful, still holds a bunch of records uh, in, in coaching in the state of Louisiana. 
And, uh, you know, so he was wrestling with me from an early age, probably mm-hmm. around the time I could walk. And, and then that led to competing very early in life, very, very early in life, um, grade school, you know, and, uh, and then carrying that through. So, I mean, it, it's just a grueling sport. I played football too. I'd been a quarterback, but that was quite literally nothing compared to the day in, day out, give it all you have, um, that that sport requires of you. Uh, if you're going to succeed at a, a really high level. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's kind of where the problem starts to, to, to build. Yeah. With the, yeah. So, you know, never, never really replenishing electrolytes, uh, uh, among other things. <laughs> so. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So then here you are in this state where you found out like things are starting to go wrong. What did that look like for you? Yeah. So, you know, I, I kind of get out of that. I get into uh, jujitsu for a little while in college and that, that doesn't make the problem any better, certainly, because I'm still not giving my body what it needs. And this this is all really critical because you graduate, you get a job um, and you're in this this place you wanted to be. And And for me, I had a very clear black and white picture of my mind was working really well in college. It's not working as well mm-hmm. now, I'm just um, shrouded in brain fog. Mm-hmm. And and I remember thinking, I have all the advantages. Uh, I've been trained to be tough from a young age. I've grown up in America. Uh, I'm, mm-hmm. you know, I just have so many, so many right. advantages. And, and I eat a great diet and all these different things. And, and yet I'm having this issue how many other people are not talking about this that are having this issue at 40 or 80 or, you know, much less, you know, I'm, I'm having at 25 because I've pushed myself really hard. So have many other people. So I'm just thinking, you know, how do I solve this as a, as a chemical engineer? So yeah, that's, that's kind of the next chapter. That's always the best place to start, right? Because it yeah. makes you passionate and hungry for a solution. It's personal. Right. Yeah. So, all right. So, the, so, what did you come on to in your studies? Yeah, so yeah, there, there's there's so many, so much back and forth, so much reading, so much research. But ultimately, I, I start to realize after spending thousands of dollars in lab testing that, well, all right, I finally found the problem, and I used a, a hair analysis to figure this out. Uh, it showed mineral deficiency. It doesn't show drugs, uh, unlike the the ones that are really popular. But uh, it shows mineral deficiency and it shows heavy metals. Uh, so what are you talk? you know, what, if anything, are you toxic in? And then, um, about this time I was starting to, to work on becoming a nutritionist as well. And, uh, soon thereafter I'd start seeing patients, but I knew I wasn't ready for that until I could solve this problem for myself mm-hmm. at least. Mm-hmm. Uh, so after I, yeah, yeah. So you think about it, you're like, okay, step one, identify problem. Step two, solve problem. Uh, you know, it, it took about mm-hmm. a year to identify the problem step and then step two took probably three times longer than that when it was all said and done. Mm. Um, I mean, to really get it to the point where you want it. So how do you solve it? Well, for me, I was chronically deficient in a couple of things, uh, magnesium, sodium, potassium, uh, chromium, vanadium. Um, unsurprisingly, those are products we, we, uh, we <laughs> offer now because they're so near and dear to my heart. I mean, it's just, I've seen so many people struggle and you can tell they're go-getters and you can tell they, their heart is in the right place and they just don't have that zap, that electrical current that these minerals uh, offer. So the, the key was then realizing, okay, all right, I know what the problem is. How do I get these minerals in a form in which they can be absorbed by the body? And, you know, some people are walking around with a mild cirrhosis of the liver. I mean, picture that. (laughs) Uh, And they're trying to put these things through their liver and get a really good absorption. In other words, put them to use, right? So that's... uh, So why why can't they absorb? Why can't they absorb them? Yeah, so, well, (laughs) uh, Mm -hmm. a lot of us, even the ones of us that are, for example, not drinking or... Um, you know, behaving really well, shall we say, and doing all the things we're supposed to do, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, our, our liver still acts as a reducing valve. It's still just not a efficient mechanism for getting nutrients in. So 
you get some, but it's limited to about 20% or so of, say, the minerals you take in that are in a normal form. And uh, that, that just really offended my sensibilities <laughs> uh, as an engineer because what, I, what we learned really well and, uh, was just how to make things absorb. We looked at so many classes on so many different things uh, mm -hmm. around this, this one topic. So getting over 90% absorption was very much uh, something I was just accustomed to. I'd seen it happen in much more complicated processes. So uh, research and development begins and just self-funded everything. Um, and fast forward a couple of years and we've been selling products for a couple of years now and you know the, we get results, it works. Um, and it's not really all that surprising. Uh, I'm just kind of surprised that it hasn't been done already. But, uh, <laughs> so, how, so you do a hair test on someone yeah. Yeah. and then how, where does it go from there? And this is super essential for, as we talked offline, for, for people that are doing ketosis and fasting because you're, in a lot of cases, not doing it perfectly. Um, so you're taking in less overall nutrients. Um, but yeah, where does it go from there to answer your question? You take your, you get your sample, you get your results back from the lab. Um, and, and then at that point, you're able to, uh, with a consultation, uh, through myself or one of the other nutritionists, uh, with Upgraded, you're able to see what, what you're missing and what to do about it and to read between the bar graphs, read between the numbers. And what that means for you is just that you start sleeping better, you relax better, you manage stress better, and you focus better. Uh, things like that, you know, managing your blood sugar better. So it's, um, it's pretty cool. It's, it's really been, um, a, a fascinating uh, couple of years of, of just learning more and more and more going down deeper yeah. and deeper in the rabbit hole. So, yeah. Yeah. I want to go down this rabbit hole with you really bad because <laughs> I love geeking out on this stuff. But first I want to go back to your own rabbit hole and what you were able to find out about yourself, like your deficiencies. Cause like, you know, people might be like, well, like, cool mineral deficiency, but like, what does that actually mean? <laughs> like what yeah. were you deficient in and how, what did that mean for you and your health? Yeah, I think that does need some clarification because um, if you're not th in it all the time, if you're not thinking about it, uh, if you're not aware of it, if you haven't heard the term, then kind of go, well, what does that mean? Well, I guess since a lot of people are visual thinkers, when you think, when you hear mineral deficiency, think of, um, think of say a, a like a high jumper and you've, you've got to get over that bar, right? That's your goal. And you have 20 different essential uh, members of your team. They're trying to make it over this bar and five or more are, or even one are not making it over that bar. So uh, it's, it ends up being, to use another metaphor, like driving a car with, with one tire that's either flat or going flat. Uh, and it's, it's only going to get better if you actively know what you're missing and you can reverse what you're missing. Um, so for me, I was critically low in magnesium. Now magnesium controls, uh, over 700, seven to 800 functions that we've identified clearly in the body. Uh, so that means that what seven to 800 things will not work as well. Um, right. the essential thing for me, you know, a lot of people that take, for example, upgrade magnesium. Now they talk about sleeping better. And I do notice that, but for me, I slept pretty well already, despite all these problems. Um, for me, it was where magnesium is used to make ATP or raw energy in the cell. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was so key because then my brain really started to work again. And that fog mm -hmm. started to lift because I'd already cut out gluten. I'd already cut out dairy mm -hmm. and, and those things move the needle some, but it, Again, like body had that that lack, you know. It's uh, it's as if you're staring at an em empty bucket that's supposed to be full of water, and it's got just a little bit in there. I mean, whatever you need to use that for, it's just not going. I mean, you can't. You have to have it. It's essential. So there's no replacement. I guess is another way to say it. So once I started to bring those levels up quickly, I mean, it was it was night and day. It was 
flipping wow. the switch. So wow. I was probably 80% back in three weeks once oh, I identified. Wow. Yeah. So it was, it was night and day. It was wild. Yeah, I, I was it's, it's absolutely ecstatic. Wow. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay. So, so you are delivering these now, um, you call them like nano, <laughs> nano yeah. delivery system, right? So it's small enough to get into your cells. What's the absorption rate difference like? Versus like if somebody were to go pick up some, you know, pretty decent magnesium, maybe from a reputable online source or, you know, a good source that they would just swallow and take um, versus this delivery system. Do you know the yeah. difference? Yeah, certainly. Yeah, that is, it's a great question. And this is this is where the root of the problem uh, really resides is you get between about 4% with magnesium oxide, for example, uh, to 20% absorption um and you know you, because these things are are just not getting they're having to go through the liver um the, you're not getting you're not really not getting beyond about 20 percent um from what i've seen so with ours i mean it's it's just quite literally the goal was 100 percent, and uh we can't say 100 but 99.99 is where we're at. Uh, these are on the scale of about one to 10 nanometers in size on average. And the blood cell, to put that in perspective, is 10,000 times larger than that. Uh, and then the minerals you're absorbing are five to eight times larger than that blood cell. So when you, you know, let's say mm -hmm. you drank them, People go, well, liquids are great. And granted, a lot of our products are liquid, but that isn't good enough for it just to be liquid. It needs to be in this nano form to, to really get in there. Because if it's liquid, then it immediately comes in contact with blood vessels and blood cells, but it wouldn't be able to, to get in, um, unless it's, you know, much smaller. And it, and that threshold is about a hundred nanometers to get super technical about it and these are all sublingual delivery right yeah 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 awesome okay so let's let's dive into some geeky stuff yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> let's sure. talk about some of these different minerals and the roles they play in our body and like why it matters so much right so okay now we're at the point where it's like okay could we have some mineral deficiencies and i will say for a second like just with especially with women <laughs> I feel like that we, a lot of women, they've just been so nutrient deprived for so long on these, you know, somewhat processed, um, low calorie diets, calorie restricting, over stressing. Cause women, I think, especially we love to kill it. We love to be everything for everyone and go, go, go and be skinny and all of it. Right. So there's just like this yeah. whole system that's just been deprived. Right. I so totally like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, and don't then we throw things it. like, <laughs> and then we throw things like, you know, keto on top of it. And this is why, like, you know, People are like, whoa, that's a lot of supplements that you take. And now, obviously, I'm going to be wanting to take all of your supplements. But I'm like, yeah, but I like the way I look at it is it's food. I, I think that we're like the richest people in the history of time in some ways. I mean, yes, our soils are depleted. But the fact that if you can afford to supplement things that you might be missing in your diet and give your body that ability to operate like a superhuman, like why would you not do that? Like I would spend money on that over clothes and shoes and toys like every day of the week. Cause it's going to make my whole life better. It's going to make my perception better. It's going to make me feel better. So everything I do is better. Right. So yep. anyway, yep. Uh, let's, let's deep dive into some things that people might be missing and what that actually means sure. and how those minerals are uh, like the roles that they play in the yeah, body. I, I'd love to, I'd like to mention one thing too. You just said that, um, or I want to say, yeah, sublingual, yes. And also by the time it reaches the upper stomach, uh, everything's uh, where it needs to be. So, um, okay. it's over. yeah, so just a caveat to that. But yeah, um, okay. so, so diving in, uh, yeah, wherever you want to take it, let's, let's go there. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about manganese. Let's start with manganese. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is it? Why does it matter? Well, manganese is a, a key mineral that is forgotten about and um, maybe just never understood to be to begin with, but it, it uh, is absolutely essential in memory. 
so you know minerals in general are thought of which is which is fascinating right you know, we all want to be able to walk into a room a room and remember why you know where we put our keys and why we walked into mm-hmm. the room and you know, uh, you know where's our phone and it's time to leave and you know we're we're all hurried and we're I feel like everything we're doing these today in modern life is so focused around memory. And, um, you know, we're backing up our memory with our phones and, and everything, essentially. But, yeah, with manganese, you quite literally need it to continue to uh, make memory uh, uh, reliable and retrievable. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. So we have, um, we're, you know, just releasing a product here in the next couple of weeks that has some in a nano form. But... Uh, however you get it, you got to get it. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. And like, I mean, you can get it through food sources, right? Like you can use like nuts and legumes and seeds and leafy greens and things like that. But like, the thing is, is that, I mean, anybody who's been through sufficient amount of nutrition education, you know, you become aware of how depleted our soils really are of these minerals. Um, and so like being able to supplement and get it so quickly and easily like that, um, is, I mean, it's just, it's a gift. (laughs) It's a gift. So I think it's, it's quite literally less expensive, uh, in time and in money, certainly in time, but, uh, certainly in money as well. Um, if you're trying to eat a bunch of nuts, uh, you're probably going to miss the macro goals that you want because (laughs) they're so full of fat. Uh, which I love nuts, but a lot of people have at least a mild allergy to them because it's so easy to eat handfuls upon handfuls once you realize, oh, they're okay and acceptable for my diet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm sure you coach on this stuff too, but it, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's essential. So, and, and then, yeah, you ultimately don't know if what you think you're getting when you look up uh, yeah. foods high in manganese, you know, right. what, what's right. actually in there because where was it grown and, you know, right. who, who tended the soil for the 100 years prior to that. So it's um, it's a reality that most people, uh, I think, aren't aren't quite courageous enough to face uh, full on. But uh, if you do, then you get to go to the next level in your human performance faster. Um, and then for some people, they're just trying to get back to where they were. And the, those are also the people I want to help. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, yeah, I, I've, def, I've been using minerals, um, for quite a while now, but, and I mean, even though they may not be as highly absorbable, just even having yeah. some of that supplemented, it completely changes my brain state and where I'm at through the day completely. Mm-hmm. Um, like I have fewer cravings. I feel more optimistic in my mood. I just feel like um, very balanced, I would say, when I'm on top of my supplementation of all my minerals. So it's it's really nice. Um, really all right, well let's talk about it. magnesium. Oh, yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, magnesium. I'm like, I, <laughs> I feel like I've been like team magnesium cheerleader for like <laughs> the last couple of years because it's just so impacting. And I know this is one I think a lot of people have caught on to um, in the recent few years, you know, and a lot of, you're right. A lot of people will use it before sleep, but there's so much more to that. And I think that, you know, it's funny. I have, I have my clients take a pretty high dosage of magnesium. I mean, I use magnesium glycinate with them and we, we do like around 1200 milligrams a day, which is a lot higher than what's recommended, but maybe I have to do that much because (laughs) it's not all absorbed, you know? So um, let's talk about magnesium and what are the, like, what are the big impact things that magnesium does for our body? Yeah, I mean, there's so many. It's hard to pick, but <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, some of my favorites. I can just give you a few favorites for a lot of people, a lot of clients that I that I see that struggle with um, they struggle with constipation. That's it's one, but then they take a magnesium. They they uh, they get recommended, and unfortunately, then they they go the opposite way, and then they have loose bowels, and they go, you know what? I'm not going to take this because I have a big meeting, and you know, life is is calling. So. Uh, this isn't going to work for me. And then they stop altogether and then they forget that they even started and, you know, that didn't really help mm-hmm. them. And mm-hmm. and then other people are a little more calculating and then they dial in their dose and they go, all right, I'm going to work up, I'm going to stage up, which is uh, a more intelligent approach, certainly. But magnesium in general um, is, is super essential for muscle relaxation. Um, mm-hmm. It's probably the thing that I... I need it 
most for as an entrepreneur is just so I sleep really well and that I manage stress really well. Yes, that's that is so key. I always when I think magnesium, I just think stress, and that's what I teach my clients yeah. too. It's just that like I'm like every single thing you do requires magnesium. So the more you're doing, the more magnesium you need to support that, right? So I, I look at it as like my anti-stress protocol for sure. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's uh, it's so essential for uh, for those things, um, for for focus too, actually. Mm -hmm. Because when mm -hmm. you calm that stress wave, you think of it as like Bose noise canceling headphones or something. Mm -hmm. You're calming that mm -hmm. stress, that wave, <laughs> of that static. You know, and it, I don't know. <laughs> that's a great way to put it. Yeah, it just like puts it through a filter and out the other side <laughs> of this like other human that you recognize that looks a lot Seriously. like you, but doesn't procrastinate and actually like Seriously. feels a little better and doesn't flip out and it's kind of like yeah, that. yeah, it's 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 great. So it's it's essential. Yeah. I think it's probably the if I had to pick one thing to give everyone, I would say do that. Uh, because eight mm -hmm. out of 10 people don't get enough of it and it's, it just does so many things. Uh, but you know, the currency, I think this is something, uh, you'd probably want me to touch on real quick is adrenal fatigue happens whenever. So those adrenals, uh, they, they spend in a currency and the currency they spend in are uh, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. Whenever they don't have those, they can't produce the hormones they need to produce. They can't modulate blood sugar the way they need to. They can't help you, you know, respond to either good stress or bad stress appropriately. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a precarious situation when you're not there. Um, it's, it's one mm -hmm. of the easiest things to fix. And if you don't fix it, then all, your whole body's in that kind of fight or flight all the time. So, yeah. Yeah, well, that's that. huge. Thank you for sharing that. And it, that's something that um, I like to talk about with keto too, is, you know, sometimes people are like, wow, I feel so good. I have so much energy. And I'm like, yeah, but remember not to be caught in permanent fight or flight mode. You know, that does feel good for a little while <laughs> until your adrenals crash and then it doesn't feel so good, you know? And so that's, I'm constantly preaching <laughs> how, and I think everyone in the keto space, you know, is pretty much trying to spread this message to just make sure that you're staying on top of your magnesium, sodium, potassium on keto, especially because your kidneys just excrete that sodium at such a faster rate. Yeah. It's really easily to get depleted. And, um, yeah, I, I, that's why I super appreciate people like you that are trying to make it, um, one step better than what we had before, you know, like, it's nice that we have these supplements we can take, but can we do better? Yes, we can. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's enhance that delivery system. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, absolutely. And thanks for saying that the, the thought that, uh, that I want to share that something you haven't heard before is, is, so I had a second mini relapse crisis, um, with hmm. with mineral deficiency and this came hmm. after i was an early adopter of of keto and hmm. it's such a precarious this was when there wasn't nearly as much research out there like super super early days right and okay. and you know i wasn't doing the test the you know for me the test that i always recommend is is the hair test so i i wasn't doing my own test often enough i was taking care of other people but not myself enough and i definitely started to slip and shift and wound up in a place that was just, it was temporary because I, I quickly realized, wait a minute, hold on, let me take inventory of what I've not been doing. But I got back to that same place pretty quickly. And this is why I look at keto as such a great tool, but, uh, it's a sharp sword. So, um, you gotta, you have to be tr well trained to use it. And I think once mm -hmm. you're well trained to use it, it, if for most, for many people, it can do great things. So, uh, just a, I love that. A word yeah, of warning. A, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a really intense metabolic change that you're going through. So it's very important to be educated and not miss out on those little, little teeny, what seems so small, you know, like taking your, like what you were talking about, the Bose noise canceling headphones. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Cause I'm like, that's exactly what it feels like. Um, on date, you know, if I'm, 
taking my supplements and I'm eating right and I'm exercising and everything's on point. And I like, I take my magnesium in the morning. The day just goes so smooth like that. And if I forget, cause I do, I admit, I get out of the habit sometimes and I like will go like a whole week without taking anything, you know? And, um, I just feel that I feel that static. I know exactly what you're talking about. So yeah, it's, um, it's so, it's so important, especially when you're, you know, heavily active and you're requiring so much from your body and you're causing these manipulations in your macronutrients. It's so important to be educated on the little teeny tiny things that can make the biggest difference along the way. So certainly. thank you for sharing that. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get rid um, of those flow antagonists, you know, from your life that keep yeah. you out of, out of flow. And that's kind of what, I love it, it. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Mineral depletion, the greatest flow antagonist. There we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's talk about um, a couple others, vanadium and chromium. Can you tell everybody what those are and why they might want them? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'll take both of those at the same time because they, they both help your body uh, with managing insulin and blood glucose, uh, and they have a synergistic effect. Uh, the problem with both of those, um, and, and then, of course, that spirals up toward, well, do you have brain fog because you ate some sugar and then, uh, which, God forbid, I know the keto audience listening is just like, God forbid, who are these people that are eating sugar? But, yeah, you know, some people still do. <laughs> <laughs> and you do, too, occasionally, if you're being honest with yourself. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and it, it's so... You know, that can spiral up to, if you're out of these, spirals up to brain fog and just like, oh, well, mm -hmm. I can't, I have that, uh, it's five hour energy called it that 2.30 feeling. Uh, and it's, it's, it's crazy, but it's also mm -hmm. such a easy fix. Um, once you get it uh, in a form you can absorb. So vanadium and chromium are notoriously hard to absorb. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted to focus mm -hmm. on them. So it's one of the first products we put out was um, a zinc, vanadium, chromium blend uh, in a ratio that had been really well proven by this, um, this doctor that had done a ton of research uh, in this area. So I just I took the ratio and then I just made it super absorbable. Uh, it's like, great, what would happen if we absorbed all of that? And then, um, yeah, so that's... That right there uh, is something that your body won't burn through. Vanadium, your body won't burn through it as often as uh, or as quickly as magnesium. Uh, it's actually a metal uh, that you need. But all of these things are essentially, uh, to quote Bill Nye, the stuff of exploded stars. Uh, it's what makes all of us. And uh, there's really no stuff, yeah. you know. <laughs> if you look at minerals, like pictures of minerals uh, online, it's like, oh my gosh, they're all metal. These like chunks of beautiful, it looks like something alien, you know, <laughs> it's like actual metal. <laughs> so, yeah. They look like stars. Yeah. They do. I love it. We're all the stuff of exploded <laughs> stardust, you know, and, and to, yeah, that. to, I've always loved that quote. And really when we get away from that, we start, you know, with processed seed oils and all sorts of things bad things happen and they start to sugar, for example, starts to rapidly deplete your, uh, your mineral stores. Uh, so that's another reason to avoid it, but, um, because then it acts as this thing that pushes you off of balance, uh, in more ways than one, but yeah, both of those are, are just super essential. So I just, everyone check them out and just, you know, do your own research. But, uh, I, I know I take them, uh, very often. Um, it's easy to become high in vanadium. So I recommend testing for it and seeing where you're at. Again, uh, that's just something that we, we do that we offer because you, you know, just like anything else, you can have too much of something and that's critical. And these things are also connected in an interdimensional or multidimensional seesaw. If you could imagine, you know, your, your grade school seesaw, uh, where you had, you know, kids of all sizes sitting uh, together and, you know, it not working so well. Imagine if they're all connected. Um, it's pretty interesting. So right. uh, that's that's kind of what happens. So testing is, is key. You know, test, don't guess. So, 
Yeah. yeah, I love that you offer that because it's like you might hear this and be like, wow, that sounds so awesome. Like, I want all of those things and a ton of them, you know, because they're all right. so good. And so it's like it's so it's so empowering to be able to test and find out if you actually need something or not and then find out what you did. You know, like I've I've had blood res blood test results that have sent me down major rabbit holes. I'm like, oh, wow. Like, and then I've been able to manage that through supplementation or diet or, you know, like, man, maybe I shouldn't be running in the anaerobic threshold so much, you know, like it's, <laughs> and it, you can't know that until you throw and until you test. Um, and so I love that you guys offer that. And I love, don't you love that? Like our, our health, uh, what would you call it? Like the biggest trend in health that I'm seeing is like, we actually are really, really personalizing health for people on the front end, because it used to just be that health was personalized on the back end with treatment from doctors. Like, Oh, yep. This is what went wrong. Here's your medication. Right. But now we're finally catching up to that and testing on the front end of like, Hey, this is what you actually need. <laughs> yeah. And I love that. So you don't have, you don't have, have to wind up in the doctor's office with a medication. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's the exact right word for it is personalized, right? And, you know, when I, I think there's a lot of value in genetics, too. But um, the unfortunate truth there is that, for example, your genetics don't really show you what you've, they're not indicate, they're not indicative of what you've eaten in the last 90 days. Um, right. And that's, that's, that's things that I, I would want to know if I'm going to give you uh, some sort of prognosis. Um, and and build a plan. So I think it's the answer is to to have a holistic approach with testing and mm -hmm. a holistic approach with diet and and to know that uh, there's certainly some things that you can't live without um and that are essential and you should probably start there but you know becoming dogmatic is never the answer either. So yeah. Right. <laughs> there's no one answer <laughs> for anyone or anything. Um it's all there's so many factors involved. I have one more question for you. I haven't even talked to you about this before, so I don't even know if you have an opinion on it. But, um, like, do you feel that there is a strong correlation between mineral deficiencies and mental health? Oh, yes, certainly. <laughs> a big area of, uh, yeah, it's something you're right. We haven't had a chance to talk about. This is something um, that I, I would say is is really key. You know, I'm, I've always, anyone that's known me has always known me as a striving, super positive person that is like willing to carry a heavier load and help people out and, you know, just kind of be there for people. But I've had some dark thoughts whenever, uh, I've been in, uh, adre like severe adrenal fatigue because you kind of look at, uh, and it's really the only time. So, Great question. Um, I don't think that's anything I've ever talked about publicly, but uh, I probably should because people need to know that. They need to know that, um, yeah, I think before you're getting on any sort of antidepressants, you're checking mineral status. It's an easy, much more inexpensive route to, to take. And, and certainly, you know, if you weren't always feeling this way and, uh, Especially mm -hmm. if, mm -hmm. if your life has outwardly, you're looking at it and you're going, and granted, I'm not a mental health professional, but just speaking from my own experience, if you're looking around, you're going, life really is pretty great. I just don't feel great about it. Then you can guarantee, mm -hmm. and you didn't always feel that way. And it's been fairly quick and it's prolonged then because everyone feels a little bit blue here and there, but, uh, and I, that's natural as part of the human experience. Um, but mm -hmm. absolutely that is a trigger point to say, Hey, you know, spend a hundred bucks or so and, and get, get a, get a test and, and see what you're missing. Uh, get some, get some professional advice there. That's just going to help you in other areas anyway, and then dial in, fix those things. And, yeah, you can do that pretty quickly in a matter of weeks. That can be, you can have those answers and those, and have that feedback and be trying things and, and maybe totally avoid going this, this, this route that, that has you going to doctor's offices and wasting a lot of your life doing things that are just going to maybe keep you where you're at, uh, maybe give you temporary relief, maybe, yeah. So, I mean, that's my stance on it. Yeah. Um, that yeah. is, 
that's where I personally feel like I draw the line. Like this is not acceptable. I'm not going to feel this way. I am going to find the root cause here. And unfortunately, medication doesn't fix root causes. Um, and it, exactly. I, I, at this stage of at this stage of technology, it never will. So um, right. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I just you know we were just talking earlier before we got on this recording about how I had just interviewed L. Russ on thyroid, and this is one of yeah, the things right. that she was talking about. I I, I asked her, <laughs> you know, what can people look for to see if they have thyroid issues? You know, how can they know? And one of the things that she mentioned was like, if you just feel really depressed and you feel really down on life, right? Um, all of a sudden, like you just kind of have no, you're apathetic. You have no desire to really do much with life. You're feeling kind of down. Um, and of course, one of the main things that you can do to help supplement a healthy thyroid is selenium, a trace mineral, right? And, and going back to your original story of you as this high school kid that's crushing it and wrestling and you're, you know, having to cut down weight and basically dehydrate yourself like crazy and deplete minerals out of your body. Like, what if you had had this information? Like, would the whole story have been different? Could you have actually performed like a boss, felt amazing if you just had the minerals in your system to keep your hormones healthy? You know, and this is like, there's so many questions on hormones right now. I mean, everything, like I have had several, uh, anybody that I can talk to that's educated on hormones, I talk to them about it. And I've had two women say to me, Anybody who tries to act like they have it all figured out on what's going on with hormones is full of it. Like <laughs> it's such a complicated picture, right? I and it, it, there's a definitely a holistic approach to it. But I think that yeah. this is, I don't know, my intuition for me, at least anyway, maybe it's just a personal thing, but my intuition says, listen to this, pay attention to this, because if your if your minerals are off, your hormones are going to be off, your mood's going to be off, your life is going to be off, right? And so I think that this is just like such a crucial part of that hormone conversation that gets overlooked. You know, we would just want to talk about how to eat and how to exercise, but like not actually hit, we're like missing the little fine tuned part about the minerals. It gets so overlooked. It's so underrated, yeah. but it's so key. <laughs> so, yeah, beautifully my, said sorry i'm going off <laughs> oh you should uh, you, you should because it, more people <laughs> need to hear that exact message <laughs> that exact message is yeah. key because there is so much um there's so much talk about macros and no talk about micros and sure yeah. as a chemical engineer i see that is one lens in which i see the world and i want to give that lens it's not the only lens you need, but uh, that is one lens that I want to give the world. Yeah, so I love they, it. And, it's such. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's such an uh, important message. It's so it seems so small and so easy. It's like you know, looking at the rod, like Moses, or just look, just like just get your minerals in, and it can change your life. And I, I know you've seen that happen. You've seen that happen with many people that you've been working with. <laughs> right. so it's like right. sometimes the fix is so small that it gets overlooked <laughs> yeah absolutely there you know there's one other thing that you just reminded me of that um i wanted to to mention which was uh regarding the thyroid so selenium is really important it's a great antioxidant it keeps you youthful uh it's really key it's really quite amazing um and what it does and i i do find people that that age really well. So two things, one, one quick note on selenium. It helps you. Um, I, I noticed people, for example, that age really well have high levels of selenium. Um, so mm -hmm. there's a, there's a real driver. Uh, and then the primary mineral iodine for the thyroid is key. We don't get nearly enough. Um, and we don't absorb what we get, of course, just like anything else, not very well, at least. Um, so the thing there, though, going back to childhood that I think really, and this puts me in touch with a lot of people that have thyroid issues, is that I've I've done a lot of work on my own because I grew up in a house where I was, um, as a child, uh, babysat by a, a family that uh, was so great and so loving, but they uh, they smoked in the house and uh, mm. like actually in the house and i didn't think anything of it as a kid really um i didn't have a choice to make anyway and uh, i wasn't there all the time but i was there most days of the week for at least 
some days through early development uh, until I went off to, you know, to grade school. And that definitely played a part with cold hands and cold feet and all sorts of things that people deal with. Sluggish, uh, sluggish elimination, all sorts of things, low kind of, um, like you feel like your brain is capable of coming up with the answer. It's just not as fast as you feel like it should be. The iodine is part mm -hmm. of that. Um, it's not mm -hmm. all of that. It can be omega-6 and 3 as well, but iodine is a big player. And the reason that gets depleted in that situation, and I'm just saying that for people out there that may have been in a similar environment, or just toxins in general, is that iodine is amazing uh, for its ability to bind with toxins in the body um, and therefore be used up by uh, large intakes, um, you know, secondhand or otherwise uh, in the body. So that leads to a depletion. And then that, th that organ, which uses that as a currency, just like we talked about adrenals, having the currency of magnesium, so potassium, thyroid has a, about a four mineral um, blend that is so key and iodine's right up there at the top so that's that's something else to to look out for um and it's unfortunately it's very 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 difficult to test for but virtually everyone needs more mm -hmm. of it. Uh, especially if you're on awesome. the low thyroid side so yeah i just wanted to mention that yeah thank you very much um okay so where can people find you and where can they find your products Sure. Yeah. Um, I think the best place is our website, which is upgradedformulas.com. That's upgraded with an ED and then formulas with an S, upgradedformulas.com. Uh, Instagram's a, another good place uh, for me personally. Uh, it's it's Barton Scott, uh, ITS, and then Barton Scott. Um, and then, of course, on Instagram, upgraded formulas. Um, so, yeah, those are, those are the primary places. Um, we're putting out a lot of good content on the blog from this perspective uh, because really the goal is to educate. Uh, people have to understand what they're, what they're missing so that they can quickly make adjustments and get back on the track to, uh, you know, unleashing their human potential. So. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome guys. Yeah. And you can find like the hair analysis tests and the consultations you can book and um, see like the glucose support and the iodine and all these things on their website. So I'll link it all in the show notes. Um, and we're going to have, we're going to do this again because we're going to test my hair and find out what the, what the deal is, what the status is. And then you're going to come back on and, and, and enlighten us. So um, I'm yeah, super excited about that. Thank you for doing that. And I love, I love geeking out on my health and I'm not too ashamed to be the guinea pig. If I've got crazy stuff going on <laughs> and I can feed you guys information on how we're going to go about fixing it. So, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. So sure. yeah, th I wanted you guys to, to meet Barton cause you, I hope you guys can tell from this podcast that his heart is in the right place and that he has such amazing, incredible information to share. So, um, I look forward to having you again next time. Absolutely. It's been so fun. Thanks, Sarah. Um, <laughs> thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can optimize for you because you're already, you know, in such a, a, a good place uh, to begin with. So it's, it'll be interesting. Thank you. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Sure. Martin.